Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install a brand new hard drive into your HP Slimline PC. The reason I'm doing this today is because I wanna put in my hard drive that has my Botticera build on it so I can dive into some retro video game emulation. So we're gonna dive into it. I'll show you exactly what you need to do with this particular PC. All right, so the first thing we need to do in order to open this up is we need to remove this screw right here. I'm just gonna use a Phillips head in order to do so. So we're going to just give it a couple twists and I'm actually gonna leave it in place. There's a little tab right here. I'm just going to pull that towards me and this panel lifts right off. So I'll flip this around and you can see inside. So I'm gonna actually throw this on its back so we can look down on it. It's a little bit easier to maneuver this that way. All right, so first thing that we need to do is we need to take this front panel off. So there's three clips, one, two, and three. If we just kind of lift those and push forward, this whole panel rocks out just like that. So we can remove this, just set it aside here. And the first thing we're gonna need to do because this isn't the biggest PC, so not everything is easily accessible, we need to take out the disk drive first. So I'm going to disconnect the two connections right here just want to pinch them and rock them gently back and forth and they'll disconnect just like that. Up here, I'll lift this so you can see, there's a little tab too. You're gonna to push that down, so pushing it this direction. Once you push that down, you can slide the drive right out the front. So it fully removes just like that. We'll set that aside. And now we need to free up this piece right here because this is the piece that actually holds our hard drive in place. Our hard drive, you can see peeking through underneath here, but there's a few screws that we need to remove in order to do this. So there's one, two, and then back here, three and four that need to be removed. So those are going to be some star bits that we need to use in order to remove those. So I'm going to grab that, twist those out. So now there's actually one more screw that actually holds the housing in down inside here and it's under all these wire connections. So it's a little hard to see, but if you push all these aside, you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to put the screwdriver in there and get that one now. All right, make sure you have a magnetic tip screwdriver if possible. So it's this tiny little screw and it just holds this housing on and in place. So that's all we need to do within here in terms of getting these screws to unfasten this. Now, we're gonna lift this up. And I'm just gonna turn it over here. And there's going to be an additional three in the front. So we have one, two, and three down here that we need to remove. And it's exactly the same screw head that we'll use for those. All right, so that's all of the screws in the front now. So at the end of this, you should have four silver screws and four of the short black screws. So now if we bring this back around like this, we should now be able to lift this right out. And we are. So this is the housing for the hard drive and we should disconnect the hard drive now. So there's two connections in front, a little hard to grab onto them, but just pinch them and kind of rock them back and forth and it'll slide right out. So there's a clip down here for the wires. You can either pull those wires out from under this clip and take the whole housing out, or we can just use what we have available to us and slide that hard drive out. So in this case, we had a 1TB hard drive in here, and I'm going to be swapping this out. This is a great hard drive. I could actually reuse this if I wanted to and just put Botticera directly on this, but I'm going to swap it out for a 2TB hard drive that I already have ready to go with a Botticera image already put on there. All right, so here I have my 2TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive. I'm going to put this in the exact same way. So our connections are down here. It's just going to slide into place just like this. And of course we need to Make sure that we line everything up. And you can see on the back here, the screw holes need to line up with the holes on the hard drive in order to fasten this into place. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in those silver screws first. So I'm going to line these up real quick. Fasten, once you fasten one in place, it's gonna hold it in enough to make the others easier. And if I just rest this, just like that, I think that'll help me to uh, 
get this secured in. All right, so the hard drive is fully secured in there. I'm going to line this back up in place here. And I'll actually make those connections while I have that leeway. So we'll put in the larger connection here. And then the smaller connection in here. And now we just need to drop this into place. Just make sure that you don't pinch any wires under here or anything like that. And the best way to line this up is to, let me see if I can bring this down, line up that back hole that had that small black screw in it. Alright, so I have that lined up. I'm going to just drop that small black screw into place first. Alright, so since that one is all set up in there, if we lift this up, we should see that all of our holes do line up. If they don't, then you're going to have to make some adjustments, but that one lines up, that one lines up, and that one lines up. So we are good to go. All we have to do at this point is just add those three screws in. See, if you have to wrestle with this, then something's off. So you don't want to have to force anything. You can see I don't have to apply any pressure up here to the um, caddy or anything like that. Everything is just perfectly lined up. So don't force anything. If something's not right, go back and make some adjustments. So that's all we need to do. That's secure in there. I'm going to turn this back around, and now we're going to add this drive back in. So all you need to do is just slide it into place. You may have to pinch this tab just to get it through the um, doorway there. Just kind of rock it back and forth. Again, don't be a brute and slam it in there or anything. You will risk damaging some of the end pieces. And we just have these two connections here. So the larger one's going to go on bottom. And then we have the smaller one's going to go directly above it. So you can see everything is locked in place now. Connections are all made both to the hard drive as well as to the disk drive. So I'm going to actually lift this up. All right, so I'm gonna take this front panel now and we are going to put that in. So I, what I like to do is start on that side there. You're going to get, bring that close and then just pull this side into place. You'll push this direction and these three clips will just lock right in on that frame. So now we're gonna put the side panel on. So I'm going to start back here and actually just bring it forward until these tabs here line up with these three holes or four holes rather up on the top. And once you're in the track, it'll line up and be flush up here. You're just going to from there slide it forward it'll click right into place we'll turn this back around and now we have that one screw that I left in place so we can just hand tighten it or put that Phillips head right in there give it a couple turns and everything is locked in place and ready to go all right, so that is the entire process here for installing a brand new hard drive into your HP Slimline PC. You can follow the same steps if you're going to be installing an SSD. However, securing it is going to be a little bit different. That's gonna do it for today though. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and you found this helpful today. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching.